Welcome back. Now, y'all remember these comments, right? Blacks are not the are not the only ones with a history of racist oppression. Well, since we're all screaming about equality, well, what about those natives? That oh yeah, we're gonna talk about the history of reparations. Hate is outside. Let me close the blinds. Sorry, I gotta say this every video for my protection. This video is fake scripted for educational purposes. Here's the apparent document history of the United States and 93 beings. Now, the United States really should atone for slavery after fighting the Civil War. You know, the war we fought with y'all. 400,000 acres of Confederate landowners, aka slavers, was to be given to enslaved families. Yet, after Mr. Lincoln's assassination, President Andrew Johnson, Democrat by the way, reversed the Field Order 15. If you don't know what that is, that was our reparations. Y'all get this. Return the land to the former slave owners. <laughs> Slave owners actually got paid reparations for their lost property. <laughs> our ancestors who had no money or learning opportunities or land returned to their slave owners as sugar-coated slaves, which is called sharecropping. They had no financial literacy. So do you think they were getting paid the amount they needed for survival? They were signing to very deceptive, fraudulent, and misunderstood contracts. Basically, white landowners hoarded the profits of black workers, agricultural labor, trapping them in poverty and debt for generations. Sharecroppers owed so much money because of the stupid contracts to the plantation owners. They basically Basically, had to give them all of the money they made from cotton. And their kids would carry on the debt. Six this morning to four o'clock this afternoon. That's right. How much did you earn? A dollar. How much will your food cost you today? About two dollars. How old were you when you first started working in the fields? Eight. From eight years old to 29, now getting a dollar. Oh yeah, I'm not done. Let's make sense of this though, as far as reparations go. This is not to discredit the pain that others went through in this country. It just shows an example of how we were no concern for a country that benefited off our backs. Let's just go on the known documented history. During World War II, Japanese people were put into internment camps. For their suffering, the US government distributed more than $1.6 billion in reparations who had been incarcerated. And they received a formal apology by President Reagan, legally signed. Native Americans have received rightfully owned land. They also have government assistance that comes to about 20 billion a year. There are benefits and programs from being forcibly exiled from their land. But you know how the government swindled this situation? There was an application process called the Dawes Rolls to accept applications for tribal enrollment. But under the table, people were paying $5 a piece for falsified documents declaring them Native American in order to reap the benefits. The U.S. also helped ensure reparations for the Holocaust. And it's 2022. We just now talk Talking about our reparations. But you know what's really funny to me? Whites and black Americans fought in World War II. Black veterans could not redeem their post-war benefits because of racial laws prohibiting them from so. White soldiers got to get business grants, send them and their children to college. It's a lot of opportunities to build wealth. Homestand Act provided that any adult citizen could claim 160 acres of government land. Restrictive discrimination blocked them from able to be in that. I failed to mention stories of murders, terror, buck breaking, rape of both male and female, human consumption, children being killed.